All right, class, this is Dr. Gutierrez. I'm gonna go over a technique that I've actually used uh, with my students with disabilities, uh, in particular, my middle school students, uh, when I'm teaching them how to uh, so, uh, multiply and divide integers. So one of the things, um, this is called actually the tic-tac-toe method, and it works very, very well, especially if you teach uh, the kids how to use this. And then once uh, they go and take a test, using a scratch paper, they can actually draw out the tic-tac-toe method. So the tic-tac-toe method actually starts off with the kids uh, drawing plus signs going across, and this would be like the X in the tic-tac-toe. And then they draw minus signs all over, and those are the negative signs uh, throughout the rest of the tic-tac-toe to make the tic-tac-toe. So let's say, for example, you have this problem here, negative five times negative three. So what you do is you teach the kids and you tell them that this is a negative, so I circle my negative, times another negative, sorry, right, a negative times another negative, and so my answer has to be a positive. So 5 times 3 would be 15, positive 15. And you don't have to write the positive, obviously, but it would be a positive 15. So again, uh, you ask them to circle the symbol. Okay, so this is a negative, and then here's another negative. So a negative times a negative will give you a positive. So let's do a few problems together. Let's pretend it's this here. So let's pretend we have this problem, negative 5 times 3. All right, so we tell the kids to circle a negative. And this one is a positive, right? So now they know where they're at, so you're helping them with that. And so a negative times a positive will always make a negative. So again, this column right here, the last column, okay, negative, negative, positive, this is where the answers, what type of uh, uh, sign uh, will the answer be. So this is going to be a negative. So 5 times 3, 15. And so a negative times a positive will be a negative. All right. So that's pretty much it for the tic-tac-toe method. And I'm going to share with you a different method, uh, which is actually called scoreboard later on. And that's with adding and subtracting integers. And then I'm going to make a different video on using fractions and how we add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators, like denominators, and how we divide and multiply fractions as well.